and welcome back. I had to take a little bit of a break in between last episode and now, so. Anyway, let's get to it. Hello, Leopold Strauss. I don't know why they demonized you in this game. I mean, I kind of know. You were the character that followed the law in the worst way. In, like, Dungeon Dragon's terms, he is lawful evil. Like, he follows the law to a T to not get in trouble, but he is causing very big problems. Like, he's a loan shark. I mean, that's what he is. To understand, that's bad, very deplorable, but... I don't understand why the rest of the gang, like, got so bent up out of shape. Like, especially Arthur, like... Arthur is the one who is beating people up and killing them. I understand the whole thing with Leopold Strauss is, like, how Arthur gets his turnaround. Like, he's doing all these horrible things, and then, like, he's seeing, like, the effects of what he's doing. And he's like, you know what, Leopold, get out. I don't want you here. Anyway, let's get to it, right? Uh, what did you want? You loaning already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you did. It goes without saying. Uh, what am I... All right, what does that leave us with? That leaves us with... Ooh, Ravier with a home robbery, which... Those are fun, but yeah, I don't really want to do that yet. Mr. Roarable. The guy who gets us tuberculosis, if I remember right. Let's go ahead and get it done, I say. Might as well. Hi, I'm, uh, good morning, Jack. How are you? Okay, just walk away, I guess. This is why I'm choosing the evil end. Huh? I'm not paying attention to you, Dutch. I have more important business to attend to. I mean, beating people who can't afford to pay stuff. I, I say that's good enough business. Uh, morning. Was that Lenny? Hey, Lenny! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be sad when he dies later. I. That's my my point of view in this. I really loved Lenny as a character because he just kind of felt like Arthur's little brother. Like, I know Sean was the one who was like, hey, he's like Arthur's little guy, you know? But he never really felt that way because most of the time he's just being annoying. Like, I understand the premise of it, but it's just kind of like... I mean, Lenny just acts so much like he's there for Arthur and the gang and all that. And that's not the one I want to lock on to, but okay. And that little part just kind of annoyed me, but... Yeah. Like, Shane's death was... It was just sudden, it was brutal, but Lenny's was just something It's like... That's not in a cutscene. I, I feel like I could have done something about that. Okay, let's go ahead and... Get that off of us. Let's go get our money from Mr. TB over here. What? Oh, I guess this is someone else. Oh, well, let's uh, rob him, I guess. Knock, knock, Mr. Robo. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um... Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? 
Aha, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das uh, des, uh, uh, no, Kaiserreich. I don't ja? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Ooh. Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No, no, no. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. God damn it, you have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up. Tell me, or else I'm going to beat you unconscious. No, 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 no. Please, no. No, have money, but, but have this. It's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. It's time to get stuff, right? Come on. Now, I know you got something ahead and around here somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know where, but I know it's somewhere. Okay, I guess I, that's not something I can get into. Be something somewhere. Oh, so I'm going to be real mad for coming here, and I'm going to shoot you in the chest. You got it? Okay, let's try the dresser. Hmm. Oh, a nightstand I can search. Sweet. Ah, I can't shoot him out. Ah, bummer. Not really much I can do, huh? Hmm. Oh, well, there's some fine brandy. My goodness, I remember last time I did this, it was so much faster. Like, really? That's not what I wanted to hit, but okay. Okay, I'm kind of oh, an antique watch. Good. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. 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 The, the only item I find there is something I have too much of. Hmm, some earrings. Ooh, some more jewelry. Oh, thank you for the jewelry, my friend. Ooh, a wedding ring. And some coin. Good day, Mr. Wobble. Don't make the same mistake again. So next time I won't be so generous with how I conduct my business. You understand. Ah, my good horse. My new horse. My best horse. Let's go on off to...
Well, I mean, I don't really want to uh, save Micah yet. Uh, but I think I have to dump the money in the box again before I can do anything else. Which is blah, you know. Anyway, off we go. Back to camp. Back to camp. Do 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 do. Let's ride on back to camp again. Let's go. We're riding on down the back to camp. Let's go. We'll be riding up the mountains, riding around the valleys, riding round and round till we go. Man, I probably sounded real autistic doing that. <laughs> anyway, uh, ooh, another special mission. Someone riding this close to camp can't really be trusted much. It's me, Lenny. I've only been gone like an hour or two. What are you talking about? Bleep. Okay, time to dump all this junk into the thing. I love not being able to actually run through camp and just being able to like fast walk. Hello everyone, good to see you again. Good to see y'all. Time to dump stuff in. Oh, is that the ledger book? Is that a the thing I've been waiting for? Oh, really? The ledger? Now? Oh, come on. I don't have anything. What's this? And I thought I had to upgrade Dutch's tent. Oh yeah, it, it is Dutch's tent. I just don't have enough for it. Okay, um... Sure, let's get the guns. Woo! Upgrade for ammo and stuff. Wait, do they shove my tent and all that right up on next to the... the Call ammo wagon? Oh, hello. Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Thank you for telling me of this fine case of a person. Ugh. Let's get to Mr. Dow's and get this story underway. It's time to go get tuberculosis. Be a real member of the community. Feel like the real Old West dying of some easily preventable disease. <laughs> That's one of the things that really got, got people thinking about this game. Like, Besides the Oregon Trail, there aren't that many games that kind of go, Oh yeah, you got a disease that for the time was extremely dangerous, but nowadays it's kind of like, eh. We could, like, cure that in seconds. What? What? I don't see what's happening. Oh. And I'm dead. Okay. Did I just get swarmed by O'Driscoll's? I wasn't expecting that. That's not the way I was expecting Arthur to die. <laughs> uh, anyway, um... Yeah. Okay, well I guess I need to eat some more food, huh? Oh yeah, this will work fine.
Come on, horsey. I'm waiting on you. And let's try not to get jumped by O'Driscoll's again. But if we do, I am shooting myself right to the... That's not the... Oh, not the way to put that. I'm going to be shooting into the stream and trying to take cover in the rocks. So I don't think I have a bounty for this town, right? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. Which is pretty impressive if I say so. Because normally, whenever you get the Schofield and like a lot of the other stuff, you really like, ooh, you're putting, uh, you're putting the hurting into folk. And you get a bounty pretty quick. Like, and considering how many people I've robbed in this game so far, that's, that's an understatement there. And also, if you're asking how we went from $400 to, like, 30 to bucks, Well, that is mostly because of these clothes that I wore. I bought a lot of fancy clothes, and I thought, Ooh, clothes look nice. I want the spooky-looking, like, dark gunslinging Arthur. Like, the black mask, the dark jacket, black clothes, like... I really like that aesthetic for Arthur, because... Especially for this playthrough, which is going to be like the... We're going to be the true gunslinging threat of the West. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Hello, Mr. Dows. Mr. Thomas Dows? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Oh, no, no, I, 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 I... Oh, come here, you maggot. Hey, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? You really tried that, huh? Please, I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. I'm working. <laughs> Mr. Strauss seems so understanding. <laughs> oh, I ain't Mr. Strauss, am I? money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's moments like that. The random things that aren't supposed to happen that happen are what always make me laugh. Anyway, I think we ought to deal with this then, shouldn't we? I think this is where we throw hair strauss out. I'm pretty sure. Ah, 
<laughs> How did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Yeah, well, we're getting along just fine then, eh? What's that new yellow mission? Oh, the letter from Mary. Well... Well, once we re read this letter, I say we just call this episode here. Dear Ain't that right, Arthur? I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story, and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Well, thank you all for watching for this episode. Thank you, and see you next time.